The cult mechanicus, also known in ancient times before the Horus heresy as the cult mechanicum, is the set of religious beliefs that serves as the philosophical foundation of the Adeptus Mechanicus and its predecessor, the Ancient Mechanicum. Although the worshippers of the cult Mechanicus are members of the Imperium of Man, they have their own version of worship that differs substantially in theology and ritualistic forms from the standard state religion known as the Imperial Cult that is dedicated to the God Emperor of Mankind. The religion of the cult Mechanicus values knowledge and the technology it creates above all else, and views the final embrace of technology in the form of a purely mechanical existence as the ultimate destiny for mankind's evolution. The cult Mechanicus, the religion of the machine god, is a complex and labyrinthine structure, a creed of secret rites and ceremonial processions that is never shared with outsiders. Within each forge world, the myriad ranks of tech priests vie for mastery in a world where only through the accumulation of technology and hoarded knowledge can one advance. Those who lead the workers and armies of the cult Mechanicus are called tech priests. It is they that devote themselves to the service of the Omniscia, altering their flesh forms beyond recognition to improve their ability to execute rites of repair, to placate machine spirits, and to acquire lost technologies. Given the hostile nature of the galaxy, it is also necessary to ensure that a tech priest has the power to slay any that stand in the way of their sacred missions. Despite the never-ending thirst for knowledge of all branches of the order, most tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus have lost the ability to innovate. No longer the master of its creations, the cult Mechanicus is enslaved to the past. It maintains the glories of yesteryear with right, dogma and edict instead of true discernment and comprehension. Even the theoretically simple process of activating a vehicle's engine is preceded by the application of ritual oils, the burning of sacred resins and the chanting of long and complex hymns. Should mechanisms break down, as they often do in service to the Adeptus Mechanicus's war effort, a replacement must be found, or knowledge of how to repair the existing one must be learned. Across the galaxy, Thousands upon thousands of armies and fleets are already searching, guided by a database begun before the birth of the Imperium. Once found, such items and knowledge are confiscated at all costs in the name of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The cult Mechanicus believes knowledge itself to be the manifestation of divinity in the universe. The supreme object of devotion is therefore the omniscient machine god, an imminent and omnipotent spirit that governs all technology, machinery and knowledge in creation. The machine god is believed to be friendly to humanity and to be the originator of all human technological and scientific knowledge. According to the teachings of the cult Mechanicus, knowledge is the supreme manifestation of divinity, and all creatures and artifacts that embody knowledge are sacred because of it. Machines that preserve knowledge from ancient times are also holy, and machine intelligences are no less divine than those of flesh and blood, perhaps more so, because they are more pure expressions of that knowledge without the conflicting emotions and imperfections that riddle organic beings like man. A person's worth is only the sum of his or her knowledge. The physical body is simply an organic machine, capable of preserving intellect, and one that is far more imperfect in the machine god's eyes than one of metal and circuits. For this reason, the devotees of the cult Mechanicus often transform large portions of their bodies with cybernetic enhancements. According to the cult Mechanicus, technology is a higher form of life than that created by cruder physical processes such as biological evolution. Only a divine source could have inspired the perfection of form and function attainable in machines. This divine source is the machine god. The machine god is not to be understood in the sense of the ancient Terran Abrahamic religious tradition's personal god. The machine god is not a person, but rather a force imminent in the universe. For unspecified reasons it has appointed humans as its chosen people, and reveals its true designs and machines to them through selected prophets. In order to interact with the physical world it was also prophesied to create a physical avatar, called the Omnissiah. In the early days of the Great Crusade, 
the emperor of mankind was recognized by the ancient Mechanicum as the Omnissiah, prompting the signing of the Treaty of Mars, known to the Adeptus Mechanicus as the Treaty of Olympus, and the alliance of the cult Mechanicus with the burgeoning Imperium of Man, transforming the tech priests of Mars into the Adeptus Terras Mechanicum and during the Horus Heresy in 012. M31 The Adeptus Mechanicus, after the loyalists in the Mechanicum formally broke away from the heretics of the Dark Mechanicum, who had sided with Horus and the service of Chaos. A tech priest, also spelled tech priest or even tech priest, and formerly known as a tech adept to the Adeptus Terra, is an adept of the Adeptus Mechanicus of the Imperium of Man, who is generally responsible for maintaining all of the advanced technology of the Imperium, enlarging the Imperium's stocks of technical knowledge, and conducting what little new scientific research occurs within the Imperium, since the end of the Horus Heresy. Tech priests are members of the Cult Mechanicus, the Cult of the Machine, a priesthood which forms an ecclesiastical hierarchy of technicians, scientists, and religious leaders, who believe that knowledge represents the only true divinity in the universe. The tech priests provide the rest of the Imperium with its equivalent to technicians, scientists, and engineers. Though their bodies often incorporate many inorganic components as bionic replacements, tech priests are fully human. Unlike the cybernetic servitors created by the Adeptus Mechanicus, that carry out most of the heavy labor for all of the Imperium's myriad organizations and enterprises. Despite the never-ending thirst for knowledge of all branches of the Order, most tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus have lost the ability to innovate or carry out basic scientific research. No longer the master of its creations, the cult Mechanicus is enslaved to the past. It maintains the glories of yesteryear with right, dogma, and edict, instead of true discernment and comprehension. For instance, even the theoretically simple process of activating a vehicle's engine is preceded by the application of ritual oils, the burning of sacred resins and the chanting of long and complex hymns. Should mechanisms break down as they often do in service to the Adeptus Mechanicus's war effort, a replacement must be found, or knowledge of how to repair the existing one must be learned. Across the galaxy, thousands upon thousands of Mechanicus armies and fleets are already searching, guided by a database begun before the birth of the Imperium. Once found, such items and knowledge are confiscated at all costs in the name of the Adeptus Mechanicus and its sacred quest for knowledge. The Fabricator General of Mars is the leader of the entire Adeptus Mechanicus across the galaxy, and also serves in the position of the Magos Mechanicus, the chief priest of the Cult Mechanicus, the religious hierarchy that coexists alongside the Mechanicus's more secular function for the Imperium. The Fabricator General of Mars administers not only the Adeptus Mechanicus, but also governs the Forge world of Mars itself as the recognized Imperial Planetary Governor. As befits his position, the Fabricator General of Mars has a permanent seat on the council that runs the Imperium, known as the Senatorum Imperialis of the High Lords of Terra. Rulers of other individual forge worlds are referred to as fabricator generals as well, in addition to whatever local variant of the title they may hold. But only the fabricator general of Mars holds a seat among the High Lords of Terra, and is seen as representing the interests of the Adeptus Mechanicus as a whole. The fabricator locum is the second highest ranking tech priest on the planet of Mars and other forge worlds. The Fabricator Locum assists the Fabricator General with the governance of Mars, including the meeting of production quotas and ensuring the correct devotions to the machine. God are observed at all times. The most notable Fabricator Locum in history was named Zagreus Cain. He sided with the Emperor of Mankind during the Horus Heresy and the Schism of Mars, and thus maintained at least some crucial Mechanicum support for the Loyalists. Eventually, the proposal was made in the later days of the heresy in 012. M31 for the ancient Mechanicum to be divided so that the traitors and heretics of the Dark Mechanicum could be purged from its organization, giving birth to the loyalist organization of tech priests in service to the Omnissiah that was renamed as the Adeptus Mechanicus. 
After some controversy from the other members of the Mechanicum, who feared cementing Martian dominance over all of the other Forge worlds, this proposal was accepted by the Council of Terra. Zagreus Kane became the first fabricator general of the newborn Adeptus Mechanicus. Amagos is a tech priest who was a recognized master of a technological or scientific discipline, having devoted many standard years of service to the Omnissiah in that area of study. There are many specialist divisions within the Adeptus Mechanicus known as Divisiones in High Gothic. Magi from these are given a title containing the specialization of their Divisio, such as Magos Alchemies, Magos Biologis, Magos Dominus, Magos Technicus, Magos Logis, Magos Shinologis, Magos Lex Mechanicus, Magos Orbologis, Magos Cybernetica, Magos Shinobiologis, Magos Astrologicus, Magos Digitalis, Magos Fabricator, Magos Genitus, Magos Physic, and possibly many more. There are higher ranks within the Divisiones that are variations of the Magos title, including Archmagos and Archmagos Veneratus. It is not known what the specific connotations of these titles are, though presumably they are indicative of greater seniority, status, and experience within the chosen discipline. In addition to the Machine God and its Omnissiah, there was a third member of the cult Mechanicus's divine trinity. This was the Motive Force, an ineffable and invisible divine power or spirit said to exist throughout the universe that was responsible for the ability of all life whether it was mechanical or flesh, to move of its own accord. Among the tech priests, the fanatical warrior clerics known as the Electro-Priests were the most devoted followers of the motive force. The Electro-Priests are divided by a religious schism into two sects, the Corpus Cari and the Fulgurites. The schism that divides the two sects dates back to pre-imperial times when this offshoot of the Mechanicum of Mars was still in its infancy. The forefathers of the Corpus Carii focused their worship upon the Machine Guard. They believed his light should be brought to the galaxy. His energies were to illuminate the savage, in doing so bringing more resources to their order. The Corpus Carii mounted great religious crusades to this end, expending a great deal of Mars's resources in the process, but believing the price worthwhile. Those early pioneers considered the Omnissiah's power to be infinite. Those who would become known as the Fulgurites were aghast when they counted the cost of such crusades. They were jealously protective of the motive force. Believing their god's favor to be finite, they claimed that the Corpus Garii were flagrantly wasting the machine god's power. They not only abused his divine energy in illuminating their void chips, but frittered his power into the ether by channeling blasts of electricity. Incensed at these accusations, the Brotherhood of Electro-Priests fractured many times, and the first conduit wars began. To this day, Mars's surface is still scorched by the legacy of those bitter internecine battles. The dogmatic nature of all Electro-Priests means this conflict will never truly be resolved. While outbreaks of open warfare between the rival sects of Electro-Priests are now mercifully rare, on every forge world innumerable smaller hostile acts, both political and covert, still take place on a regular basis, and neither side can forgive the transgressions of the other for long. The cult Mechanicus also believes in the existence of machine spirits minute, animistic fragments of the machine god that inhabit every machine or piece of technology in existence. These fragments of their deity naturally command a great deal of respect, and they are also believed to be directly in control of the machine's operation. This means that Mechanicus tech priests and others they instruct like the Adeptus Astartes tech marines generally make many ritualized prayer-like petitions to their machinery in order to ensure their spirits are compliant and respected, and thus that they operate properly. These rituals often include many operations of a potentially mechanically useful nature, such as lubricating an axle, securing a screw or similar actions, but also operations of no immediately visible value, such as sacrifices, chants, libations and the like. The belief in machine spirits is also the cause of the cult's stance on alien technology. As aliens do not recognize the spirits of their machines, 
such devices are enslaved and maltreated by their creators. Because of this, humans should not make use of Xeno's technology even if it is superior to its human-made counterparts. Orthodox Mechanicus cultists usually advocate the destruction of alien technology to free its spirit, while more radical followers may excuse the study, safekeeping and even use of alien devices in the name of the eternal quest for knowledge. Technology and its mysteries are the preserve of the followers of the machine god, the tech priests, for they believe that machines are imbued with a life force of their own, a soul granted to them by the machine god, a will and a personality. The more ancient a piece of technology, the greater reverence it will elicit from these robed followers, who will spend many solar hours anointing a machine with the correct unguents before pressing the sigils of activation to coax its spirit into life. A machine that is both old and complicated is given the same status by the tech priests as the ecclesiarchy would give a major saint, for many of the systems on these machines are irreplaceable, their secrets lost to time. Among the greatest of such machines are the vast battleships of the Navis Imperialis, or the super-heavy Titan war machines of the Adeptus Mechanicus' own Collegia Titanica. But tech priests will also lavish their attention upon an antique laser gun or prognosticator, and will spend much time trying to understand the intricacies of a device's workings. All machines, though, no matter what their pedigree, are treated as living things by the tech priests, and they will treat all with reverence, for all are gifts from the long-lost past, knowledge of their function handed on through time only by the beneficence of the machine god. Woe betide any person who fails to treat their weapon with respect, or hurls abuses at their desktop cogitator, within the range of the machine-enhanced senses of a tech priest. Paradoxically, true machine general intelligences, the so-called abominable intelligence, or silica animus, are held to be anathema by the tech priests, for they view these as soulless automata, spiritless things cast into the galaxy, to confound the will of the machine god. Shrouded in myth and legend, these abominations are rumored to have originated during the Dark Age of Technology. Supposedly pathologically dangerous, an Inquisitor may encounter them, although rarely in the course of their duties. Should they learn of these creations the tech priests will hunt them down, investigate them, and then destroy them. Only properly sanctioned logic engines those deemed to have a spirit gifted them by the Omnissiah are allowed to persist. The ultimate goal of the cult mechanicus is to understand the machine god and the will of its physical embodiment in the universe, the Omnissiah. The communal and individual attempt of mechanicus believers at this is known as the quest for knowledge, and the cult's followers view this endeavor as paramount and more important than any other concern. Generally, the quest for knowledge is pursued through scientific and exploratory endeavors. The cult believes that all knowledge already exists, and it is primarily a matter of time before it can be gathered together to complete the quest. The Mechanicus's members are therefore disinclined to perform much original scientific research into previously unexplored fields. They consider it more important to safeguard that knowledge which they already have accrued and gather more by searching for STC templates and similar lost pieces of ancient human technology from the age of technology. Some original research and technological innovation does happen within the Adeptus Mechanicus, particularly among the unorthodox faction of tech priests that is now gathered around Archmagos Dominus Belisarius Call in the era Indomitus. Although the results of such endeavors are strictly quarantined for many standard years before being disseminated publicly. The term tech priest covers thousands of different roles within the governing clerical hierarchy of the Adeptus Mechanicus. A genitor, sometimes referred to as a magos biologist, is a high-ranking tech priest usually bearing the title of magos who is essentially a geneticist, zoologist, xenobiologist, xenographer and molecular biologist all rolled into one, studying all matters genetic, anatomic and biological. A genitor numbers alongside the Lauja, artisan and magi ranks of the Adeptus Mechanicus as members of its ruling priesthood of Mars, 
possessing access to knowledge and resources far beyond that of the lesser engine seers and lex mechanics. Yet a genitor's professional obsession with organic life often makes them seem strange to their more mechanically inclined brethren, who comprise the majority of the mechanicus. They also can serve as diagnosticians and treaters of disease in the human body equal to or better than any imperial medici. Artisans create and restore truly wondrous weapons of war, from ornate gamma pistols to the mind-boggling immensity of the Arc Mechanicus. Magi of all stripes pursue esoteric agendas as likely to end in triumph as they are disaster. Across the galaxy transmechanics, lex mechanics, engine seers, secutors, cognitors, trifactors, myrmidons, techno-shamans, and more labor alongside the wider Imperium to bolster humanity's war machine. Within the Adeptus Mechanicus, the ranks become even more esoteric. Each Mechanicus Forge world is led by a Fabricator General, or a similar official with a different title, and beneath them their Fabricator Locum. Each Fabricator Locum can call upon Magi Technicus, Metallurgicus, Alchemies, Cogitatris, Pedanticum, Tech Assassins, Hive Monitors and Holy Requisitioners, who in turn can command a body of Fabricators Minoris, Fulgurites, Corpus Gari, Overseers, Underseers, Stasis Clerks and Techno Dervishes. Each subdivision within every facet of the Order is split into dozens of ranks. To avoid confusion during war, the most senior of the Tech Priests in a battle congregation adopts the title of Tech Priest Dominus or Magos Dominus, to lead the effort. Each forge world is a citadel of information, a repository of all mankind's technological knowledge, the temple to which each tech priest is devoted. Mars, the first forge world, remains the true seat of power for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Its fabricator general is the de facto leader of the cult Mechanicus, and is awarded a seat upon the Senatorum Imperialis, the Council of the High Lords of Terra. The cult Mechanicus is ordered by a strong hierarchy, but details on this hierarchy's actual makeup are not always clear. Generally, more highly positioned tech priests are expected to have more seniority and knowledge than lower ones, and are consequently more theologically important as greater repositories of knowledge. Within the Adeptus Mechanicus, the ranks become even more esoteric. It should be noted that specialists such as genitors and logi may not have any specific rank within the cult as a group, but rather will be ranked as individuals. Obsessed with the cult Mechanicus's quest for knowledge, the senior tech priests who serve as a Magos explorator search high and low across the galaxy for lost standard template construct, STC databases, and ancient human scientific and technical knowledge lost during the Age of Strife. A breed apart from regular tech priests, any explorator or member of their team will willingly walk into forgotten catacombs, even at the risk of death, for mere snippets of long-forgotten knowledge from the age of technology. Many Magi Explorator command the Explorator fleets that continue to push outward the frontiers of the Imperium, or even serve alongside rogue traders, something of a jack-of-all-trades. Amagos Errant studies several scientific and engineering disciplines, including chemistry, genetics, metallurgy, and more. They are then attached to rogue trader fleets and other similar imperial expeditions by treaty between the Adeptus Mechanicus and the individual rogue trader houses, or the Imperium itself, if the expedition is sponsored by the Adeptus Administratum. In return for the Adeptus Mechanicus's expertise in technical maintenance and general science, the Magos Errant is allowed to study interesting sites, the expedition comes near, transport sensitive materials, and generally make use of the expedition's resources for the greater good of the machine god and his servants. A Magos Dominus, Fem Magos Domina, is a senior tech priest of the Adeptus Mechanicus, who are the masters of much of what remains of the vast and potent military secrets of the age of technology, particularly the ancient technology of combat robots, the Battle Automata. During the Horus Heresy, the Magos Dominus was a master of the arts of the Legio Cybernetica, a sect of the priesthood of Mars, granted the dread right to create and control the robotic Cortex Automata, built for war. Such strange and threatening powers were not without price, 
and by doctrinal tradition, such individuals gave up an easy route to power within the ancient Mechanicum. So dangerous did their fellows consider the secrets they wield. Instead, the Magi Dominus and their tech priest Dominus Acolytes formed but one of the many factions and sects within the ancient Mechanicum, divided both by technological specialization as well as rivalry and ancient feud, each vying for power, knowledge and resources beneath the outward unity the organization displayed, shrouded as it was and still is by impenetrable mystery and arcana. In the millennia following the Horus heresy, Amagos Dominus also became responsible for leading Electro Priests and Cataphron Battle Servitors as part of the Adeptus Mechanicus's battle congregations. Heavily trained in the art of war and able to skillfully monitor the battlefield with machine-like precision, the ancient and dreaded art of battle robotics they still study has made many within the Mechanicus consider them dangerous. This limits their chances of rising to greater political power within the priesthood of Mars even in the late 41st millennium. A genitor is the name derived from High Gothic that is given to a high-ranking tech priest specializing in the genetic sciences and biological engineering, sometimes referred to as Magi Biologists. Genitors number alongside the Logi, Artisan and Magi ranks of the Adeptus Mechanicus as its ruling priesthood possessing access to knowledge and resources far beyond that of the lesser engine seers and lex mechanics. A genitor's field of study makes them distinct from the majority of tech priests, as their professional obsession with organic life often makes them seem strange to their more mechanically inclined brethren. Their interest in the organic is not merely limited to their own forms, or even to that of humans. The study of alien genetics, to understand how they function so as to slay them better in the name of the Emperor, is a common field of study for genitors, particularly the subsect collectively known as the xenobiologists. Such knowledge is dangerous in the theocratic imperium, and many genitors have been condemned as heretics for claiming the superiority of a particular xeno species biology to that of humanity. Genitors are very common in the Adeptus Mechanicus and often accompany Imperial forces on exploration missions to new worlds. They are also the members of the Mechanicus responsible for testing the 5% tithe of gene seed provided to the Mechanicus by every existing chapter of the Adeptus Astartes for signs of mutation or corruption by chaos. The Genitors also use these ties of genetic material when the Imperium requires the founding of new space marine chapters every few centuries. Regardless, the presence of a genitor, particularly a xenobiologist, is seen as an asset by explorator fleets and rogue traders alike, as their knowledge of human and inhuman forms allows them to discern the nature of a newly encountered xenos or indigenous species, or categorize a new strain of abhuman found on a far-flung world. Electro-priests are fanatical warriors for the cult mechanicus and are tasked with using their cybernetic abilities to support other tech priest warriors, combat servitors, and the Mechanicus dedicated combat troops, the cybernetic Skitari or tech guard, in battle. Their dermal layers are implanted by the Magi Cybernetica with metallic elect two circuits throughout their bodies. These circuits are designed to interlink with the Electro Priest's neural cortex, which allows them to generate a tremendous amount of bioelectrical energy which they can release in powerful and devastating blasts. When Electro Priests enter battle they chant litanies to the Omnissiah of the Cult of the Machine, whipping themselves into a fanatical state of hatred towards the Mechanicum's enemies and building up the electrical energy that they will release in an orgy of destruction on the battlefield. Engine Seers are perhaps the most common of the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus. They view themselves as engineer mystics dedicated to the Omnissiah, and each Engine Seer possesses a wealth of knowledge on how to maintain and repair mechanical and electronic technology. Unlike most of the priesthood of the Adeptus Mechanicus, Engine Seers can be found serving in almost every imperial institution, other than the Adeptus Astartes, where the same role is played by the Tech Marines, and are often assigned to regiments of the Astra Militarum or other parts of the Adeptus Terra. Engine Seers are highly trained members of the Cult Mechanicus and are dedicated to the maintenance of Imperial technology. Through many Terran years of study, 
they have gained the knowledge of the arcane rituals and processes that form the body of imperial technical lore as practiced by the Mechanicus, as well as a more secular understanding of the more practical disciplines of mechanical and electrical engineering. Engine seers serve across the galaxy with the Imperial military, often in harm's way, as they will be called on to make repairs on the battlefield as well as in the workshop. They are a common sight during engagements where the Astra Militarum's forces have engaged large numbers of armored vehicles and are often accompanied by a contingent of servitors for either assistance with the work or defense. Although most Imperial Guardsmen revere their vehicle's machine spirits enough not to irritate an engine seer by committing blasphemy in the form of customization, the modification of vehicles to fulfill a certain need is inevitable, much to the horror of any engine seer's religious principles. Engine seer contingents are also included in the mighty Titan legions of the Adeptus Mechanicus Collegia Titanica, and the crews of the massive warships of the Imperial Navy, allowing them to perform emergency repairs in the heat of battle. Despite the respect they usually command among the military units they are seconded to, engine seers are not held in high regard among the hierarchy of the cult mechanicus itself, as their skills seldom contribute to the divine quest for knowledge, which is the chief religious duty of any servant of the machine cult. As a result of the overwhelmingly practical, rather than theoretical bent of their knowledge, engine seers are often perceived as no more than a necessary but lowly underclass in the workings of the cult of the machine. Engine seers almost always make use of the cybernetic enhancements that are common among tech priests, in this case bionic arm augmentations that appear to be very similar to serpentine tentacles known as mechadendrites. These augmentic limbs are used to help the engine seer during repair operations to carry out tasks requiring strength beyond the human norm, and in many instances for self-defense. A rune priest is a tech priest who is responsible for performing the rituals required by the cult Mechanicus's doctrines for the awakening of machine spirits. These rituals involve the scribing of runes and the chanting of cult Mechanicus liturgies over the devices to be so awakened. Rune priests often become experts at their function after many standard years of studying, perhaps the most arcane branch of science explored by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Intuitive Mechanics, better known as speculation and improvisation, rune priests are famous or infamous by the standards of the more logic-minded tech priests for their unorthodox solutions when strict logic and standard procedures prove inadequate to the task at hand. Transmechanics are those tech priests who specialize in the repair, operation and maintenance of the Imperium's various forms of communications technology. They are often assigned to serve in other organizations of the Imperium like the Imperial Navy. The purpose of the tech priests called Lex Mechanics, who are also known as Calculus Logi, is to compile data so that it can be entered into a central cogitator, computer repository. Lex Mechanics are the librarians and scribes of the Mechanicus. They work with computer-like speed and accuracy, assembling battle reports, economic statistics, planetary reports, and other masses of necessary, if mundane, data required to keep the massive bureaucracy of the Imperium functioning from day to day. They are used throughout all the divisions of the great galaxy-spanning bureaucracy that is the Adeptus Terra but are most concentrated for obvious reasons among the bureaucrats in the Adeptus Administratum.